Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Owsley of JonathanOwsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this feminine approach turns most high quality men off. This feminine approach. Okay, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot about three or four videos per week. Okay, this feminine approach. Now, um, those who follow my channel know that Please forgive the analogy here, but I have a hard on against this idea of masculine and feminine energy, masculine and feminine energy, because what we're really talking about is male and female, even though they kind of disguise it into the concept of energy. But I understand why this happens. OK, masculine energy is perceived as doing and feminine energy is, is seen as receiving. So I have an issue with a lot of advice that centers around being in your feminine energy and you have to shift out of your masculine energy to shift into your feminine energy because what that does is it creates actually what I call the princess effect, the princess effect. In other words, there's this almost level of, and, I, and I've talked to men about this. This is where I'm getting this advice, that there's almost this level of entitlement. It's a princess. They're protected by their fathers. They're treated like, like these precious little things that have to be overprotected. And they're not leaning into their sovereignty. And so what happens is a relationship that begins with someone who's a princess energy or that feminine energy is there's a mismatch, there's a misalignment, especially with a high quality guy. That high quality guy will call for the for for argument's sake the king, king energy. King energy doesn't want to be with princess energy unless that king is a controlling, narcissistic kind of king energy, but that's not the kind of guy you want. The high quality guy is emotionally mature. His actions match his words. He um, takes personal responsibility for his choices. He knows how to fight fair. He's empathetic and he's transparent. In fact, Google or check out um, my list of videos. I have one called the five signs of emotional maturity where I go into this deeper. And the emotionally mature guy, which we're labeling the high quality guy, doesn't want to be with princess energy. That feminine energy that, you know, just keep, you know, keep back a little bit because the guy is supposed to be the doing. The guy has to claim you. The guy has to claim you. That energy is a mismatch to a high quality guy because a high quality guy is seeking a relationship where it's a two lane street. You're both investing equally in, you're both investing mutually, excuse me, to the getting to know one another. It's not the man plans every single date and the man does all the calling. It's a nice balance, but it's like a, a nice, you know, volley, well, not volleyball, a tennis game. It's a back and forth. It's a back and forth. And that's not princess energy. Princess energy is the guy has to do, do, do and claim. And here's what happens. Men, yeah, a lot of guys do claim women. It happens. We chase you because we're physically attracted to you and we want sex with you. And we've claimed you now because you're property to us. And then we treat, not we, but many men treat you like crap because it's been this one-sided event and why you want to treat the process as a two-lane street. And if you need some help with this, check out the book, If the Buddha Dated. If the Buddha Dated. This is a great book to kind of understanding dating from a spiritual perspective, from a heart-centered place of that two-lane street. If you need some guidance on what a two-lane street looks like, check out the book, If the Buddha Dated. But I'm here to encourage you to go to the next step because you don't want to be in this princess energy. What I want to highly recommend that you move into queen energy. Queen. Well, how do we how are we going to make a look at queen, 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 whatever queen energy. This is why you have to check out the work of Alison Armstrong wrote a book called The Queen's Code by Alison Armstrong. In fact, look how thick that book is. This is a really great book to shift from princess energy to queen energy. That 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 queen is a sovereign. She 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 knows her self worth, her self esteem, her self confidence. You know, there's this book called uh, "Why Men Love Bitches," and please forgive the languaging, but what I call a bitch is a babe in total control of herself. 
babe in total control of herself. Have you ever heard that? If you have, please post a comment below. But why men like women like that is because they are in their queen energy. They recognize that a relationship is a two lane street. It's not feminine energy. It's not masculine energy. It's sovereign energy. It's the energy of loving oneself. The energy of loving oneself. Because when we come from that place of loving oneself, we become a magnetic attractor to what we want. And if you need help loving yourself, check out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the heck is self-love anyway? By the way, the links to Jonathan Recommends uh, is below to check out the books I recommend. I'm recommending books because I wanna shift perspective. Let's get out of this stupid rules-based way of dating, this whole game playing. This is all game playing a lot of advice. Man should claim you. No, you should claim each other. It should be a two lane street and that's what I want to encourage. And sometimes I scream and yell and I fucking curse sometimes because I want to shift things up. I'm not doing this to be crass. I'm doing this to create a shift in perspective. And yes, this is my style. And for some of you that don't like the F-bombs, I apologize. By the way, if you do like my F-bombs, please post a comment. I want to hear what you think. Um, am I making a difference? Is this making a difference? Are you shifting perspective? Are you leaning into yourself, your own sovereignty, your own queen? Are you looking at a relationship of getting to know someone from a two lane street perspective instead of this expectation that men are the leaders of the relationship? And quite frankly, they're terrible leaders of the relationship. This is why I highly recommend you all get the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John Gottman. And if you're dating a guy and his penis is going into your vagina, then he should be reading this book too. Please forgive my crassness, I'm being blunt. The, this is the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. And if you want a healthy, happy relationship, learn the mechanics to one. This is a great book. Eight dates, but I... All right, you got the gist of where I'm going. I've said a lot. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a question. If this resonates with you, if my advice resonates with you, then schedule a discovery, a free discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. I teach you how to vet for those high quality guys and, and not to sit in that feminine princess energy, to lean into your queen energy. That was very masculine. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thank you so much and wishing you a beautiful, wonderful, super duper day. Bye-bye now.